Um, now, I'm just going to talk about the timeline a bit because we'll be spending a lot of time in here. Um, this is a lot like if you've come from Flash, you'll recognize a lot of similarities. Um, you've got your layers, you've got your frames. The difference, I guess, with Toon Boom is that you generally work in scenes. Um, every every scene is a different file. So here I've got a 60 frame scene. I can stretch this out to be as many frames as I want for this scene. Um, things start to, in my experience, things started to um, to get weird when I stretch this out to more than say 3,000 frames. Um, so, but generally you'll work. Um, if you if you use Storyboard Pro, you create a storyboard and um, then you export to to animate and uh, and it'll split all the scenes from the storyboard into separate animate files so um so here let's um let's just talk about one scene what i'll do is i'll create a quick background for you and and then you know i'll put some foreground elements or or some character levels in and you can see how it uh, how it comes together um basically you can click around on any of these frames and if you press F5 it'll extend the exposure. If you don't have any drawings there to start with and it's just a blank timeline like this you can uh, just select a frame and start drawing. Now if you select a frame up here and you draw something I'm just drawing a uh, uh, thing, you'll see that it has just drawn it on the frame that I've selected. Uh, that's pretty easy to to extend over the whole scene, you just drag it back to the beginning and then go to the end and press F5 and there F5 just extends the exposure. Alternatively, instead instead of pressing F5 you can um, actually if you've got a longer exposure you can drag the end of it up to the end like that. Um, so to rename a layer you just cl single click on it and uh, then I'm going to add a new layer. So this button here, just above the, the layers, is the add drawing and just it's as simple as a single click and you've got a new layer. Now you'll notice that the other layer, as long as I've got this new layer selected, the, origin, the first layer, the background, is ghosted in the background. And if I select that in the timeline, it comes to the front. And that's, uh, that's the light table in Toon Boom, which um, which pretty much ghosts everything that you're not working on, which makes it easy to look at stuff. But sometimes you do want to see everything in context, so you can simply go here and select uh, light table, deselect it. Um, so what I'll do is draw. Let me just um, make a new color for that. Uh, the thing in the one one big feature that a lot of people love in um, Toon Boom software is their color management and I've just painted this with um, the default line color here and there are a whole bunch of different colors but what I'm going to do rather than paint it with a different color I'll just double click this swatch and I get a um, the the color mixer and whatever I do to this color whatever color I choose it updates the swatch and automatically updates everywhere that it's used in the scene. Um, so that's just getting a bit sidetracked here, but uh, I'm just going to go for some kind of oh, click. Um, oh, it's got a multi wheel mode, by the way, so you can have fun with that. But I prefer the single wheel mo mode, it's just simpler and, and a bit more friendly. Um, I'll just drop the saturation, raise the value. This is a dusk sky, up the saturation a bit. That'll do. And there's the background. So just just to make sure that I don't accidentally draw on that, I'm going to um, lock it. And now I'm going to turn off the light table so I can see. Uh, and now I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to draw with this one, but I'll change it to red. Actually, I'll just choose a dark color. Right. And now... So there's there's a sky, so I can just um, just like in Flash or just like in any other graphics program, I can draw using the brush tool um, and just draw a cutoff. Now I can I can just uh, 
using the paint tool, just paint as normal. Uh, the little letter P U you see on the uh, cursor there means that um, the paint bucket is in paint unpainted mode, which basically means that everything that is unpainted and is in, in an enclosed space, like uh, for example, that I'll draw a couple of things, examples. Um, okay, so if I get the paint unpainted and I uh, just draw a circle. Um, let me just get away, get away, get away. Yes. Okay, so if I just draw a, a line through that, that's the, the great thing about um, the paint bucket in this and a lot of other things in this software is that you don't have to click in the actual object because uh, uh, to paint it because um, sometimes really small objects are really difficult to paint. Um, you just have to draw a line. You don't even sometimes you don't even have to touch it barely. Anyway, paint unpainted will paint anything that's in enclosed and um, has no paint in it. You see, it didn't work on this one because it's not enclosed. Um, and yeah, so anyway, that's cool. Um, in a little sidetracked again, but. Um, now we have, I've painted a, um, a bit of a mountain there, so I'll just do what I did before and drag it out so that's over the whole thing. Um, when we come back, this uh, video has gone a little over time, I'll try and keep them under five minutes, but uh, when we come back I'll, I'll talk more about frames and things. <laughs>